Hey guys, welcome to Lake Stevens Auto Detailing. Today I've got this 2020 Honda CRV, which I'll be doing a interior detail and an exterior detail. But this uh, first video is just going to be the inside and the walk around. Uh, so I got some pretty good uh, bug guts on the front. Um, it's weird because the fender liner and the front's um, plastic, and then the back are carpeted. So I'm not really sure what's up with that, but both of them are pretty dirty. So I'll be addressing that, just getting everything uh, cleaned up. And um, it's for their uh, his wife's birthday, so she just wanted to get it all back to normal and set straight so she's got a nice clean vehicle for her birthday so she's excited to get it all cleaned up the inside's kind of dirty it's not too bad i mean there's just kind of trash and debris around um no kid mess or pet or uh, smoke damage so um inside work won't be too bad thankfully uh, there's not a lot of stains and stuff so Let's be going through and getting everything cleaned up for them. This Honda CRV hadn't been detailed before, so the worst of it was just getting all the nooks and crannies that hadn't been addressed before since it was brand new. Um, just getting in all the cracks and crevices, getting the door jams, getting all the areas underneath. Uh, bordering the floor mat and a bunch of little areas in the center console and a couple others you can see look like they haven't, haven't ever been cleaned so we'll get that addressed and get it cleaned up for the lady and she should be pretty happy if you guys buy very many detailing supplies on Amazon or really anything on Amazon I've got affiliate links uh, below in the video description and even if you um, click on the link and then buy something else that's not on the list, I uh, do get a little bit of a kickback, uh, no additional cost to you. So I would appreciate it if you think about using that. Thanks. The customer did opt for uh, shampoo and extract of the uh, floor mats and the carpeting. So we had that uh, add on. Everything else is just the basic inside and out um, for this detail. So no engine bay detail or any of the other add-ons that I offer. Also, if you like this video uh, or think this is a dirty uh, detail, give this video a like and a thumbs up, please. Now, usually when I start my details, I like to do the exterior first, but now that we're getting into fall and winter time, um, it was actually below freezing outside, so I had to use my uh, heated garage and uh, start on the interior and get that all taken care of and then go to the exterior so just have to change things around a little bit during winter and adapt and overcome one uh, drawback from working inside even though uh, if you're working in a heated garage the heat obviously is nice compared to outside especially if it's freezing um, one bad thing is the visibility um, lighting wise is nowhere near as good as the natural sunlight which you can get um, from being outside so i did have an interior light bar which i used which was pretty much a necessity um, it was just too shadowy and not enough lighting in the garage so that uh, portable light bar really was a godsend uh, just so i could see what i was doing until um, it warmed up and was able to work outside on the exterior
Thank you. 